Hi, I'm Dr. Shah. I was the National Lecture Competition winner in 1989, and I'm the Maths Master at Maths School. Now, ready for a new way of doing maths? I've set up a division that I want to find out already, which is this cubic, and I want to divide it by this linear um, divisor. So I start off by putting my cubic inside the divider by sign, and my divisor outside. Now what I'm going to do first of all is ignore all of these and I'm going to ignore that. And I'm just looking at that x and that x cubed. So I'm just looking at these two. And I'm asking myself, what do I have to multiply x by to get x cubed? And the answer of course is x squared. So I put x squared on the top there. And the next thing I do is I multiply that. So I do x squared times x, which is x cubed. And I do x squared times 2, which is 2x squared. And then once I've done that, I subtract. x cubed minus x cubed is going to give me 0. 5x squared minus 2x squared is going to give me 3x squared. Bring down the next term, plus 4x. And then again, do exactly the same thing. So the procedure repeats itself now. Look at the first one of these and the first one of those. What do I have to multiply x by to get 3x squared? So the answer, of course, would be 3x. So I write plus 3x on there. And then I multiply this out into there. So 3x times x is going to give me 3x squared. And 3x times 2 is going to give me plus 6x. And again, put a line underneath that, and I'm going to subtract them. Again, same as before, the first terms are going to just cancel out. Now I have 4x minus 6x. So 4x minus 6x is minus 2x. Bring down the next term, which is also the last term, and then repeat the procedure all over again. Looking at the front two here, what do I have to multiply x by to get minus 2x? The answer is minus 2, so I put my minus 2 on the top there. And again, I'm going to multiply that minus 2 with both of those. So minus 2 times x is going to give me minus 2x, and minus 2 times 2 is going to give me minus 4, and subtract yet again. Again, the first two will cancel out, so all I need to do is 1, subtract, minus 4. Watch out for the double negative here. 1, subtract, minus 4, which would be 5. There are no more numbers to bring down here, and so I have to stop here. That's going to be called my remainder, and that at the top here is going to be called my quotient. Now, because I had a remainder, the remainder wasn't zero, that means that x plus 2 is not a factor of x cubed plus 5x squared plus 4x plus 1. When you do try and divide it, you get a remainder left of 5. So that's how to do polynomial division, and once you get good at that, um, a speedier way of doing the same thing is to use synthetic division.